Hey guys, welcome you again to another showdown theme team. I'm Mr. Lucky Luke, and today's one we got ourselves a full white color white Pokemon team. And uh, yeah, this one is gonna be a little bit more interesting than the usual. So first of all, we're continuously back again with the whole color scheme. Uh, not sure what was the last time we did. I don't know for which one was it. They maybe it was like purple or brown or something. I don't know. Um, yeah, I actually don't know which one it is. It's been uh, quite a decent time, so not sure which one was it. But either way, um, yeah, he's in React. <laughs> Pretty sure. So yeah, so welcome also, Mr. Z Knight. You're just in time for a, a video, so hope you enjoy. So we got uh, pretty much uh, the last time we did a uh, theme team was the uh, I think I was doing some I think I was doing the full was it a mono team or was it uh, let me actually um, let me just double check so I know how which one that is I don't want to end up ruin this moment but yeah uh, let's see here which one was it it was it was the well, I'm up here already. Don't know, actually know which one was it, actually, you know. <laughs> oh, wait, this is the wrong button. I need to check this one. Okay, so, um, let's see here. It was the Mono Rock type theme. So, th and the last time with the color one, don't know, actually don't know, because I actually, the, the video is too much for me to see the, the remaining. So, you know what? You just have to see for yourself, and I hope you enjoy as well. So, we got six random Pokemon that has the color of white uh, on them. Originally, I had a plan already bringing a full white type, uh, a white type of Pokemon or white po a color Pokemon with a different moves and different uh, setup of them. But I changed it to a different one because I'm pretty sure they're gone and I don't want to be making another one. So yeah. So let's go ahead and jump into this one. So first battle is against the Joy uh, Joy Boy uh, Sai and hope you know this one. So this one is against him. We got a Bliss here versus my Frost Last or Frost Last Frost Moth. I'm <laughs> sorry, R uh, wrong uh, wrong Frost. And uh, we're gonna go for a. This is a more of a bulky trolling set with Infestation, uh, Quiver Dance, uh, Aurora Veil with a Snowstorm or a snow or a Snowscape. So we got the opponent is gonna go for a special and a physical mix set with a Blissey. Never seen one of those before. And uh, this was I was like kind of wondering like, hmm, would this be an interesting? Uh, is this gonna be one of those interesting battles? Probably will. So they're gonna go for the Focus Blast, and uh, I thought, well, I might as well keep going for the Infestation, might as well keep going on, on it. But then they tear themselves into a normal type, and I went for another Quiver Down, so like, this could be good. I might even <laughs> pull up like a like a Frost uh, Moth uh, uh, sweep here. Maybe, I don't know. So I got through the Infestation, I got for the another uh, one, and they bro obviously they broke free from it. However, the opponent's gonna go for the Healing Wish, and uh, yeah, I thought this one could possibly happen, so they're gonna swap into Charizard. I knew there's definitely gonna be a fire type move coming in, so I use Infestation. They're gonna pop a Flare Blitz on my uh, on me, and then I was like, let's Terra myself into a Water type because I already wait. Uh, they already waste their Terra, and uh, maybe I'll be able to withstand the, uh, one good fire type move. So I went for an Infestation. They obviously locked in into uh, whatever the move, and they can't switch it in. So they went, they went for a fairy, f Flare Blitz and a Fire Blast set. So I was like, wow, this is, could be an interesting battle. But however, the opponent didn't like it, so they straight out salty forfeited. And that is pretty much the first battle here. So I hope you enjoy this one. So, like, I was kind of wondering, like, what was the set of it? Like, is it, could be a, is it a good physical, a good special? You never know. But anyways, that's first battle, and let's jump into jump into the second battle, and we got against Mr. The Broken Elements. Elements. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy this one. So let's go in, and this one is against him. So we got a Claw versus my Arceus. This is a very strange uh, trolling set. With uh, this one is a Dragon Tail Body Slam uh, Recover and Parish Song set. So this one is pretty much paralyze the opponent, Dragon Tail them. Um, just to sw uh, swap it in so you can just pretty much body slam them get the par paralyzed then go for dragon tail and then just keep it up recover if you want to heal it up and then uh, if you're getting your versus against someone who's about to sweep you use parasong to counter their sets so they got an, uh, the cloth going for a guillotine and a and a devil uh, uh, a guillotine and a devil set then they pop the brick break and bye bye for uh, fortunately um, Arceus next one comes in is frost mouth and I thought, let's go for the infestation. 
a um, on uh, the cloth and uh, took out uh, literally I took out a rock type four times weakness took out a rock type congrats Frostmoth next one comes in is cryogonal and I knew this thing can probably do nothing to me I mean I assume because uh, sheer cold doesn't do any uh, as a uh, has no effect against ice type so I went for that and now the opponent's gonna go for the explosion after I trapped them in and then I was like let's go for this quiver dance trying to bo um, you know trying to uh, withstand a couple special attack on whatever the next month comes in but most of them are 1 EK moves, so let's hope that this will be able to put down. So yeah, so we got the Tinglu here. He's gonna use his, his ability to drop his my special attack, and it's gonna one shot me with a fissure. So that goes down. Bye bye for Frost Muff. And the next one comes in is Oranguru. So this is a special set, completely a fully a special set. And I'm gonna go for the Focus Blast. However, the opponent <laughs> is gonna go for his spikes. Pretty sure expecting me to go for like a support, like a setup move only. I mean, most people expect the Oranguru only go for setup moves. That's what most people go with. But this is a straight out special set. So that's going to go down. But however, the opponent didn't enjoy it. So they, str I don't know why, but they straight out forfeited. I don't know why. Like, here's the thing. Like, I thought this could be a good battle, but they just didn't like it. And bye bye for, uh, for that salty player. I mean, <laughs> I mean, what else did he have? Like, did he only have like a, I mean, pretty sure the opponent must have had Astro Barrage, uh, Calyrex, definitely. Uh, the Riolo is not sure what they're going to use. I mean, could have been a counter set, maybe. Or something with copycat, maybe. Um, but I assume the opponent must have had only one move on Calyrex, or either that. Or it must have had nothing to uh, hit a Ranguru. So, I completely counter uh, this uh, man, and uh, I think that counts as a Salty as well. So, yeah. So, let's go ahead and jump into the, the third battle here, and let's see if we can get our, a battle here without any Salty opponents. So we got a, uh, three Snorlax, a Belly Bolt, and a Blissey with Great Tusk. So they're gonna go for the Fire Punch. I went for a Blizzard. This is a special uh, Chiam Pao. I went for Endure just to uh, drop my uh, health low enough so I can get my Patea Berry. And they're gonna go for the Fire Punch. So <laughs> I guess must have been some sort of strategy here. So I went for Blizzard. I popped a Freeze like Nunny. Like nice. Finally, at least got a uh, Freeze Hacks. By the way, this might probably be the only time I got the free tags anyways. So I go for the Dark Pulse, and uh, they get a crit. Like, okay, that's pretty cool. Then I was like, let's actually take the opportunity for me to send in Mosul. And I was actually going to... Pro uh, you probably don't understand this one, but... I was actually going to be originally going for a Mosul sweep here. Which, by the way, I managed to get one. But uh, that will be happening at the end of the battle, so you probably going see that from there. So we got the a uh, next Snorlax coming in, and I'm going to go for the Infestation. And trap the Snorlax in. However... The opponent's gonna have an Encore Snorlax, like, hmm, alright, 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 that's an interesting set, I guess that would work. And then they pop the Belly Drum, so like, okay, so I get it now. So they pretty much go for the Encore on the, the opponent's uh, side, if they set up, then Belly Drum, and then they pretty much see if they can uh, one-hit KO me with just whatever the moves goes in, and obviously Body Sam came in. Next one, uh, it, I mean, it's obviously most people run the body set most of nice anyways. So next one comes in is my Mosul. This is a my special set, and uh, I activate my Throat Spray. Sadly, didn't take it out, and uh, yeah, Snorlax is going to finish it off with uh, pretty much can able to sweep my entire team with a Body Slam. Pretty sure. And the next one comes in is Chiam Pao, aka my Zoroark. And I'm going to go for the Swords Dance and trying to uh, increase my attack. Now, this is a very fun set. <laughs> Because here is why. Because this is a Swords Dance, hear me out. A Swords Dance, Crunch, Phantom Force, and a Scratch set. <laughs> with Terra Normal as well. So I went for Terra Normal with a powerful Scratch. That did a lot of damage. And now the opponent's going to go for the Psy Shock, obviously. Trying to, you know, some solid damage to me. However, I went for another Scratch. And that is enough to take out the Great Tusk. So I finished it. I took out the opponent's... Uh, a random opponent with a scratch that's never seen it before. Next one comes Billy Bolt, and they went for their Terra Electric. I thought they're gonna go for like a Soaker or something, but uh, they're gonna uh, go finish me off with a Terra Electric at uh, this shard, and that goes down. I mean, spe I mean, Zorark special attack is well, its bulk is not the most amazing, anyways. So I went for a um, Parasong in case it's gonna keep going in, because this Billy Bolt needs to swap it out, because I, I'm pretty much had nothing against a Billy Bolt, so I'm pretty much gonna see if I can get them to a swap. They immediately swapped. And I was like, let's go for my Body Slam uh, Arceus, try and get Parahax. And uh, the first one uh, failed, but the next one, however, that one paralyzed. They're so like, oh, great, nice. 
Then they're gonna pop the Ice Punch. I guess they're gonna try and get a Freeze Hax while I'm at it. I obviously didn't uh, want to play it. Uh, obviously, you know, dumb, obviously. So I obviously swapped it out. So next uh, they did is went for an Outrage. And to my surprise, it actually critted. So I assume that crit would have actually mattered in, uh, to drop my uh, low in HP because I think that would have not do that much in general. So anyways, I went for Hyper Voice and took out the first and the second Snorlax, which was Free Sacks. And the next one comes in is Belly Ball. So this thing, I need to shut this thing down before this thing can sweep me because most people run with the uh, Belly Bolt is a uh, Electromorphosis uh, Paracable Charge, I'm pretty sure it's called. And uh, <laughs> most people just spam with that move right off the bat, so nothing you can do about it. So yeah, I went for a Dark Pulse, trying to get a flinch on the opponent. However, it's not it's not nearly enough to take it out, and it's going to finish me off with a Discharge. So only one more mod I have, and that is the Mighty Arcue. So I was like, nope, yep, yeah, that's it. I have we, There's no playing around now, so we have to try to get this win there. So I went for a, a Recover on my Arcues. And uh, I went for a body slam, and that is enough to take it out with the one more body slam on it. The next one comes in is Blissey. So, like, hmm, what can Blissey do? I was wondering. Also, just double check something in the chat. So, hold on, excuse me for that. But yeah. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> ignore that part. But yeah, so we got the Blissey here, and I was wondering, like, hmm, is this gonna be a stall? But no. As soon as I said that, it wasn't because it was a live or thunder punch set and sadly it's gonna be enough to take it out so yeah so i pretty much took out the remaining pokemon with body slam and that is pretty much gg so that is a very nice uh, battle here but sorry i could have um i couldn't uh, stop using uh, body slam but that was the only move i have and uh, i mean that, that's most people are, i mean not not all of them it runs so most people run extreme speed arcus but i had to get creativity with arcus especially because with most Pokemon that I had on my team, most of them were a little more memes, but I tried my best to try and run more, you know, surprisingly. So, this is why I gave Arceus more strength sets. I mean, well, it's kind of hard because, like, the creativity of using a Mon with lots and lots of moves is really, really difficult. So, we got the, the, the Wiglet coming in, and it's going to go for the Memento. And next one comes in is Basculin. So, like, hmm... What will Basculin do? I mean, what kind of water type comes in? But nope, to my surprise, it is a head smash set with probably Rock Head because that did not do any recalls. So I went for an Endure and uh, it's going to bring me to 1 HP and activate my Fatea Berry. And now I'm going to able to finish up with a Dark Pulse and bye bye for the Basculin. <laughs> Obviously. So the next one comes in is Basculin, the Hisuian one, and it's going to go for the Priority Aqua Jet. And bye bye for the GM power. I mean, I knew that was probably gonna happen, so obviously it makes sense. Next one comes in, however, they actually swapped it into Calrix, and I was like, okay, well, this is a good opportunity because now I can set up a nasty flood and see if I can take it out with a you know, with a side shock because that's my only move I can hit it. So I went for a side shock that didn't do too much, so obviously, I, I knew this one's gonna hit me a three hit KO. Then they popped the a uh, call mind, and guess what. The Psy Shock did almost nothing to it, so they're gonna obviously know that they couldn't do any much damage to a, a Rangaroo, so they have pretty much have to accept it. And to their, uh, and to my surprise as well, I thought this is gonna be one of those battles that's gonna be a pretty easy KO, but obviously it, it wasn't. So I took out the Calyrex, but the Origin Pulse uh, competitive uh, Kyogre is gonna slide in, and bye bye that one. So the next one comes in is my um, Special Muscle. I decided to go for a mud shot, try to drop its speed, and uh, yeah, it wasn't enough to take it out, so I'm just gonna also change the uh, music in case it's claimed. Uh, please don't claim me, YouTube or Twitch, please don't do it. Anyways, the next one comes in is Arceus, and uh, I was like, okay, obviously, it also goes down. It, it, it dropped its speed by one, uh, of one stage. I was like, okay, this is good, because that means I can outspeed the next mod, and I decided I want to go for my Arceus, so like, Let's go for a body slam. Try to paralyze them for once, because this is the, probably the only way that I can win. I managed to get a paralyze. They went for an origin pulse, and as soon as they paralyzed and landed on them, they straight out salty rage quit it, ladies and gentlemen, and even timer stall me as well. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is my friend another salty rage quit. So, 
we got a lot of a uh, few salty rage quits not many but we got plenty of them so i hope you enjoy so so that is pretty much i think that's pretty much yeah that's pretty much at the end of the uh, the um that thing but uh, let's go ahead and explain my uh, my strategy for each mod and explain uh, some of the move poll so first of all is my uh, special set so i want to actually make a, a different uh, video about them also but i want to clarify about some of these sets before um you know you go ahead and just explain about like complaining about oh wait this is are you sure this is not the um, the right set or not but yeah I, i'm just gonna clarify some of them at least in case you, you get confused but anyway, so this is a special muscle with max special attack, max speed, modest nature with 4 for defense. We got a throat spray, a technician with terra normal, water pulse, hyper voice, echo voice, and terra blast normal. Now actually this one actually meant to be a terra ghost. I uh, <laughs> I just changed it into a normal type because um, on the next few battles I was trying to attempt my muscle sweep. I changed changed it to a normal, uh, or I changed it to a, it was actually ready to be a ghost type. So you can just imagine it's a ghost type. So let me actually change that up right now, uh, just so you don't have to get confused. So uh, ghost, ghost, ghost. There we go. So yeah, this is meant to be a ghost Terra for Terra ghost in case dude, you know if there's any ghost type counters on that. Which by the way, there was a lot of fails with this one, so I had to make sure to get the best uh, moments on them. So anyways, that's that. Uh, pretty simple. Just go for a hyper voice, activate frost spray, then spam echo voice. Which, by the way, echo voice technician was the only way I can use this uh, muscle set. So I managed to get the muscle sweep, and I do not want to hear any complaints about counting as a fail or a win. This is a W, and I managed to get this muscle sweep. So I don't want to hear any comments. I don't want to hear any negative uh, questions about not saying this was a sweep or not. Just gonna clarify that is a sweep. And next one comes in is my more of a bulky, uh, a bulky trapping set with this one is a mind frost moth with max health, max defense with bold nature for the special defense. We got a quiver dance, aurora veil, snowscape, uh, infestation set with terra water as that one because well we do if I, if I a lot we can if we face a rock or fire type well that one is going to just be just go down so. So I decided I want to run a Terra Water for, well, first time, for Fire types, Resist, Rock types, for, well, for making a neutral. So that's one. And also have uh, ice, uh, uh, ice Scales for, you know, for just um, trying to, uh, this Pokemon uh, re uh, receive one point, uh, one out of half a damage from a special attacks. So it's a pretty unique ability at least. And then we have uh, Leftovers. Or just just to heal it up a little bit now this is not a legitimately a working uh, it's not really a fast special sweeper it's just more of a bulky sweeper so so yeah you can use infestation aurora veil to heal uh, to bulk your defense and special defense and equivalent dance infestation try to get like <laughs> well maybe a sweep I mean I don't know if this is like even a possible sweep for me to do so I probably will change this thing into like a you know like a um, infestation uh powder snow or fairy wind set which by the way a lot better than the last so yeah the next one comes in is an actual special set so this one is a more of a different set uh more completely a little bit mixed i guess you could say so this is a max special attack uh, 196 speed with 60 hp uh special set champow with blizzard uh, dark pulse hex and endure now this is an endure strategy uh, to activate the patea berry and obviously Source of Ruins doesn't affect because I'm running a special set. And we also have Terra Ghost for fighting types coming in. Just naturally just spam on its move. And obviously just, you know, in case it's going to go for like it's mighty close combat. Well, that's that one. So yeah. Um, so, you know, you can use your special sets. You go for the strongest uh, ice type it gets is Blizzard. You could run maybe like a uh, different ice type move. But Blizzard is the case for this one. So... Uh, also, Dark Falls is also the strongest special, uh, well, strongest landing hit ball. And we also have Hex for coverage in case we can use the combination of Arceus with this Body Slam, which, by the way, that is a, obviously, that one, which, um, obviously, this is also Dark Falls, so it's, it's not important. But yeah, so you activate Petea Berry and then spam your Ice Slam move. So yeah, so which, by the way, speaking of which, this uh, Arceus here is a max he uh, health, max defense. With Impish Nature with 4 for the attack. We got a Scope Lens set with Dragon Tail, Recover, Body Slam, and Parasong set. Like I said, we have also a multi type as ability. You know, 
just as that. Well, then again, it's, it's actually just a regular ability. It doesn't have any other abilities that it gets, so just give it that one. Uh, we have Terra Normal for our body slam. Uh, uh, for body slam. And Dragon Hill. So pretty much, you, like I said, I already said this on the battle. You pretty much go for the bo uh, Paralyzed, Dragon Tail them. The, uh, the opponent, then keep using Body Slam, recover, heal, and then go for Parasong in case there's any sweet burst comes in your way. And obviously, if there, there is any like uh, Baton Postures, you go for Parasong, and that is their sweep since it will last only three turns. So if they dare to Baton Post uh, with Parasong, the next uh, pretty much won't, def like, it's literally its own additional status move. So essentially, it like, for example, if there are any sweet burst comes in, like, for example, I will say, like, uh, Zormorail goes for a Belly Drum, or, I'm not sorry, a, a Spafra, for example. So, if you go for, like, a, a Protect or something like that, Parasong will just go through the Protect and uh, set up a Parasong. So, after three turns, even if you Baton Pause it, this, literally, it will all it will activate all the way until you action switch. You can't, like, you can't use, like, a Shed a Tail or a Baton Pause in order to get that one, because you have to actually, um, you actually have to... Uh, swap it out in order to get rid of the Parasong. So if you don't swap, your Mon is fainted. And I actually managed to get a couple other Rage Quits with this set, but uh, you probably already uh, understand how that works. So, anyways, that's that. Next one is my very fun set, and this is a physical Zoroark with with max attack, max speed, jolly nature. With this one, we got Illusionist ability, obviously, and we also have a Swords Dance. Crunch Phantom Force with the Mighty Scratch Normal Gem. <laughs> I just had to run a Normal Gem on this one. That's it's it's super amazing. You can definitely tell it was a, it's a very strong, uh, strong physical move with uh, 40 base power. You know you gotta have to try scratch your opponent a little bit. I mean sometimes I even have to scratch myself a little bit, especially on the back side. So that's the problem with it. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So we also have a Terra Normal for getting an additional uh, Normal type of boost on it and uh yeah and with the terra normal it's gonna be a, it's gonna increase its physical it's it's gonna get it just increases the you know physical move a uh, normal type stab and booyah and also have to have swords dance because well even if it's normal uh, terra normal gem scratch is still not gonna be enough to take out most things <laughs> so that's why you got to only see um you could scratch my well, excuse me <laughs> Well, I have a scratcher. I actually have an actual back scratcher in my uh, my room. You hear that? That actually is my back scratcher. So, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, that's that. And the last one of my team is a my special uh, Ranguru with a. Uh... Oh wait, I forgot to change. I did check if they had a fully. You know what? I did check if they're my meaning. You know what? It doesn't matter. Anyway, so we got this one as a special Ranguru with. Nasty Plot, uh, Focus Blast, Psy Shock, and Hyper Voice Set. This is actually a sweeping Oranguru, and I've actually been trying to go for a sweep, uh, sweep with Oranguru because it's a very really unique Pokemon, and most people run this as a supporter, so I kind of wanted to give it a go. And uh, Oranguru's special attack, with its like said, it's not that that complicated, but you do need that Salic Berry in order to be most thing. I mean, with him in nature, it's still actually pretty. I mean, it's not it's an all right speedy one, but. Because we're facing, you're probably going to face a lot of fast ones like a Chien Pao. And uh, with this base speed versus uh, Rangaroos, it's not going to be guaranteed out to be most things. But it's all enough to outspeed some of them. So yeah, you go for Nasty Plot to increase your special attack. Focus Mist for, uh, for uh, uh, pretty much for normal, dark type, and ice type, some of them. Uh, Side Shock for um, basically anything that is a special defensive wall, like Blissies and stuff. And the Hyper Boys for coverage, for most of it's as strong as normal type, so you can use uh, Hyper Boys for... Uh, it doesn't really have any really much besides that, it, it's only a strong physical, uh, special attacker. Um, then again, the strongest special attack it does get is Hyper Beam, but... You know, recharging it for the next, it, like literally using the, cannot, the user cannot move next turn. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do that, so... You could also run technically Terra Blast. Maybe, but I don't think. I actually don't think the. Um, no, actually, this thing does. No, it does learn a Terra Blast, but I think it only works um, better if uh, you use Hyper Voice because that has a base more power. So I think it's best for you to run Hyper Voice instead of it. So yeah, we also have Terra Normal because we can. Uh, you could actually change this to a Terra. Um, like you could change it into a Terra. Maybe Terra like. 
maybe terror something that is a void like maybe a, something uh, that can avoid the super effective damage like um like you can run like a terra fairy for withstanding bug and dark types most of those uh, encounters and um, we also you could also run taking your uh, additional boost stab you can actually run like terra um you can take like a run a terra psychic for some of the other stats to increase its uh, you know special attack or try and run something that is you know for coverage like running uh terra ground for predicting electric type moves or terra flying for ground type moves or you know some of the other ones or maybe probably even dark type because you know in case their prankster stabilize comes in out of nowhere and just want to just say hi and toxic spam you because those are pretty annoying to handle and i'm pretty sure stabilize by far is probably the best counter for this one <laughs> and yeah you can definitely see why so yeah we also have telepathy uh probably the best uh, unique ability gets this uh, Pokemon do uh, does not take damage from attacks made by its allies. So, I mean, you could actually take that run Inner Focus if you want to. I just I want to run a, a Telepathy. And we also have Salic Barriers with it. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. We also special Max Special Attack and Max Speed. Most people already know that one. And that is pretty much it. So I hope you enjoy the full mono, um, oh, the full color white Pokemon team. Or the white color Pokemon team. And we'll, we'll be posting that Mosul Sweep afterwards. So you're gonna have to watch that one afterwards so see you guys and girls then and as always i'm mr luke luke thank you guys for watching today's video and as always stay lucky out there